Now this can be a common problem with many growers, and that's the simple over-fertilizing of the crop. Just pouring on the fertilizer more and more, a thing that's going to do benefit, when actually it actually will result in potentially more harm or negatively impacting the end product. So this is a common occurrence with growers because they want to make sure they get the most out of their plants. Uh, so they figured, well, a little more fertilizer, it's not going to cost me that much more, but I want to ensure I get the best yield that I can. However, it's important for these growers to remember that over-fertilizing can not only hurt yields, potentially get into toxicity range, but can waste money and potentially contaminate groundwater. I want to keep uh, an idea of sustainability. I want to keep our rivers and waterways as clean as possible without contaminating them. Also, don't want to waste money unnecessarily. So these are both ways that over-fertilizing can negatively impact the grower and also the environment. Signs of over-fertilization could be brittle leaves, burn leaf margins, and buds that smell like fertilizer, buds that make noise when they're burned. they are just ways um, to be able to tell if you've over-fertilized a crop. Sadly, many of these kind of wait until the end result, so it's important to be mindful of that throughout the process, to be testing leaves to make sure they do have some flexibility to them, uh, and watching the margins for potential over-fertilization burn. Uh, also, want to be careful of other things that can cause the leaf margins to burn. Uh, such as being too close to the lights or deficiencies even in some instances. So again, just follow recommendations, uh, err on the side of caution, and always add more fertilizer, uh, and it's harder to, than it is to take it away once you've over-added it. So be mindful so that you're growing a crop in a sustainable manner, not wasting money, and not potentially contaminating the environment.